Hi and welcome to the Mark Carp YouTube channel. Today we're going to take a look at how to set up an inline lead for carp fishing. Now to fish with an inline lead you just need rig tubing, your inline lead, a tail rubber and the rig itself. Incidentally if you want to know more about the rig, how it's tied and constructed, how to adjust it and how to keep it tangle free when you cast I've got a cracking video that covers all of that that's coming on at the end and I'll stick it in the top right hand corner at the end it's well worth a watch called car bricks for beginners so an inline lead is made with a lead mold it has a bar that runs through the middle and there are two sides to the mold when you take it off you can see a bar that runs through there and the bar gets a little bit thicker before it reaches the end and that little thick piece there is what forms the recess that your swivel goes in and a standard size for inline leads is a size 8 swivel so always make sure your swivels are size 8 okay so when it actually comes to threading rig tubing take your line and cut it at a 45 degree angle before you thread it and that should leave you with a piece of line that will go through the tubing quite easily. The second thing you need to know about rig tubing is that it should be longer than the rig itself. So if you've got a rig that's 10 inches long, you want about 12, 13, 14 inches of rig tubing. Okay, so threading rig tubing. Once you cut your line at 45 degrees, hold your rig tubing up so it's vertical and thread it downwards so gravity helps so you've cut your line at 45 degrees and you're threading downwards and always thread dry rig tubing never use it wet so if you're changing rigs mid session and you've just wound in don't try and re-thread that rig tubing use a fresh piece because you'll have trouble so we just keep pushing it down and eventually the line comes out the other end and it threads really easy if it's dry and your lines cut at 45 degrees it'll thread really easily so once your lines threaded through the tubing add a tail rubber now the tail rubber goes on thin end first and just thread straight through like so and you can push the tubing into the tail rubber just, I find if you twist twist the tail rubber one way and the tube in the other and it should push in okay next we have our inline lead from the back just the line just goes straight through comes out the other side and then the tubing pushes onto the back of the lead again if you twist it as you push it on it should go right to the back and that's the basis of an inline lead setup and the last thing we do is we tie our rig on with our size 8 swivel that's going to fit in the housing now the knot I use for this is a grinner knot and I'll put this knot on the end okay so as you can see the rig's tied the only things left to do is to put the swivel into the housing now at this point we're going to make a little modification to it now all rigs have something that can go wrong with them with a lead clip it's jamming the rubber on too tight and with an inline lead it's pulling the swivel into the housing and it jamming in too tight that's not too bad and it comes out quite well but not all the time sometimes it can be quite a tight fit so what I do at this point is I take a pair of pliers and I will gently squeeze the bottom of that swivel so instead of being round it's slightly oval now I didn't do much with that 
but as you can see it's slightly changed the shape a little bit and what that will do is it will make it easier for that swivel to pop out of that housing on the event in the event of a run and as a general rule of thumb for an inline lead for it to be safe you need to pick the rig up and it should fall away under the weight of the lead it should fall off if it's jammed on and that lead doesn't drop then it, chances are it's too tight and there's a chance that if your main line breaks that won't pull off and the fish will be left dragging the lead and believe me people can't really ram them on tight and they don't need to be so as a general rule of thumb pick the rig up one shake and it should fall off okay and that's a safely set up in line rig that's just not going to go wrong it's an absolute cracker okay so that's it for the inline carb rig if you want to see the knot I've used it's here in the bottom right hand corner the green and knot and if you want to see the rig itself uh, how you construct it modifications you can make to it and how to keep it tangle free check out this video here in the top right hand corner okay so thanks for watching how to set up an inline lead for carp fishing and i'll see you in another video soon tight lines